In this video, we'll be learning about surface area. Surface area is the total area of all of the faces of a 3D figure. Some examples of when you might use surface area in real life are if you're wondering how much wrapping paper you'll need to wrap a gift, or if you're wondering how much paint you'll need to paint a house. Hey, Ms. Harmon. So I'm trying to decorate my tissue boxes with fabric because I think it would make my classroom look so cute. But I'm just not sure how much fabric to use on one tissue box. Well, we could figure that out by finding the surface area of the box. Surface area, what's that? Surface area is the sum of the areas of all of the faces of a 3D figure, like this rectangular prism that we have here. How many faces are there? Well, it's a rectangular prism, so there are six faces on this. That's right. Let's name them. There's the front face, the back face, the top face, the bottom face, the left face, and the right face. And they're all rectangles. So all that we have to do is find the area of each of our six faces and add them all together. Then we have our surface area. You know what I noticed as you were pointing out the faces of our prism? The opposite faces look the same. Like the top face and the bottom face, they look the same. That's right. And the right and the left and the front and the back because the opposite faces are congruent. So if we find the area of one, we automatically know the area of the opposite face is going to be the same. So really, we just have to find three distinct areas, double each one, and add those products together. Then we have our surface area. Ooh, it's Mrs. Kentaw. Uh-oh. Hey, Mrs. Kentaw, what's up? Oh, you have the secret phrase for tomorrow. Purple narwhals? All right, cool. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Let's find the surface area of the tissue box. Make sure on your note sheet to write down the names of all of the faces like I have here in my table in order to keep your work organized. We're going to start by finding the area of the front face which I'm shading in blue. Since the front face is a rectangle, we're going to use the formula for area of a rectangle to find its area. So A equals length times width. The length is 8.5. And the width is 2 inches. 8.5 times 2 gives us an area of 17 square inches for the front face. We know that the back face must also have an area of 17 square inches because the back face is congruent to the front face. Now let's find the area of the left face. Unfortunately, it's hard for me to see that in my picture. So instead, I can use the dimensions of the right face because I know that the right face is congruent to the left face. So if the right face has a length of 4.5 and a width of 2 inches, I know that the left face has the same exact dimensions. So A equals length times width. The length is 4.5 inches. The width is 2 inches. 4.5 times 2 is 9 square inches. So both the left face and the right face each have an area of 9 square inches. For the top face, I know that that is congruent to the bottom face. The bottom face has dimensions of 8.5 by 4.5. So the top face has the same dimensions. So area equals length times width because it's a rectangle. The length is 8.5, and the width is 4.5. 8.5 times 4.5 is 38 and a quarter, or 38.25 square inches. Therefore, the bottom face also has an area of 38.25 square inches. 
Now to find the total area or the sum of all of these individual areas, we can either add up each one individually, so 17 plus 17 plus 9 plus 9 plus 38.25 plus 38.25, or equivalently, we could write 2 times 17 plus 2 times 9 plus 2 times 38.25 and evaluate this using order of operations. So 2 times 17 gives us 34 square inches for the front and the back faces, plus 2 times 9 gives us 18 square inches for the left and the right faces, plus 2 times 38.25 gives us 76 0.5 square inches for the top and the bottom faces. When we add these three values together, we get 128.5 square inches for the total area, otherwise known as the surface area. So the surface area of the prism is 128.5 square inches. That means that Miss Terry would need 128 and a half square inches of fabric to wrap a tissue box. Here's what we've learned in this video. Surface area is the total area of all of the faces of a 3D figure. We can find surface area by adding the areas of the faces of our 3D figure. Finally, remember that surface area is measured in square units because it is the sum of individual areas which are each measured in square units themselves. Thank you for watching.